Hi, magandang gabi po sa lahat. For tonight's topic, we'll be focusing on overcoming temptations. So bilang tao, hindi naman na bago or hindi naman na lingid sa ating kaalaman na araw-araw talaga merong mga temptations na sumasalubong sa atin. And most believers are often troubled by various temptations na they encounter in their life. So maaring sa iba't ibang anyo, such as money, status, fame, yung mga pleasure ng buhay, mga ganyan. So, how can we overcome such temptations and stand true? And for tonight, I'd like to share with you uh, three practices in overcoming temptations. So, the first one is uh, to overcome temptation, we must first and foremost pray to seek God's will. Sabi nga diba sa Bible sa Matthew 21, um, And all things, whatever you shall ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. So when, te- uh, so when temptations come upon us, uh, God observes our attitudes to see if we have the desire to seek the truth and stand firm. Uh, when we genuinely pray and call out to God, God will guide us to understand His will so that we can know the right thing to do. And then we will be able to see through Satan's deceitful schemes and overcome temptations. And this is true sa buhay ng mga Kristiyano. Now, when we first come across temptations and we act based on our own knowledge or our own intellect or yung ating kakayahan, capabilities, most of the time naman talaga nagpo-fall tayo dun sa trap, dun sa deceit na ginagawa ni Satan para maloko tayo. And in the end, we will commit sin. So that's why it is important that we always seek God's will and come to Him in prayer. Kasi siya yung magbibigay ng kaliwanagan sa atin na to see through the deceit and the lies of Satan. Uh, that's why if we don't come to God in prayer and seek His will, tayo na who can't see and understand things with our physical eyes will be easily deceived and fall into temptation. And as a result, alam naman natin na ang unang-unang maapekto nandiyan is yung ating relationship sa Panginoon. It will become abnormal. Magkakaroon, syempre, we will commit sin. And at worst, kapag nagpatuloy yung ganong klaseng temptations and we continuously fall into the trap, maaaring malugmok tayo dun sa sa kasalanan na yun and na may hirapan tayong takasan or alisan, alisan. And pag tumagal pa, maaring ma- uh, i-resist na natin and alam mo yun, we, we will be rebels against God. And number two, to overcome temptations, we must also equip ourselves with the truth which is the word of God to see through Satan's lies and deceits. In the Bible, in John 8, it says that, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth that man needs to possess is found in the Word of God, and it is a truth that is the most beneficial and helpful to mankind. It is the sustenance to the body, and it is something that helps man restore his normal humanity. It is a truth that man should be equipped with, so the more we practice God's word and, it, and apply it in our daily lives, the more quickly we will see our life blossom, lalago tayo, and the, clearer, and the clearer the truth will become. For the more of the truth we understand, the more discernment we gain on all of Satan's deceitful schemes. And this way, we will be able to stand firm when temptations come. Sabi nga din sa Psalm 119, verse 11, na sabi ni David doon, I have kept your word in my heart so that I will not sin against you. So yun yung tinutukoy dito na if we keep all the things that we learn as we study the word of God sa Bible study, sa mga preaching, sa mga ganyan, if we plant those things in our hearts and talagang isinabu, isinasabuhay natin yung mga bagay na natututunan natin, those things would also help us in overcoming temptations kasi syempre yung enlightenment na nagagaling sa Panginoon doon din natin makukuha yun eh, sa Bible if we read it, if we read it, diba? Yung mga natututunan natin, doon din lahat yun galing 
sa Bible. And the truth is also included dun sa, ano, diba? sa armor of God. Yun yung belt of truth. And isa yun sa magiging panlaban natin sa mga tukso na maaari nating harapin sa buhay. Lastly, yung third point to overcome temptations is yung continuous and consciously shun temptation. So, pag sinabing shun, it is to keep away or to avoid. Parang kumbaga, tayo na yung kusang lalayo dun sa sitwasyon na kung saan merong temptations. Ikaw na mismo dapat yung makaalam. Yung parang wisdom din eh. Na alam mo na dapat na, okay, hindi na dapat ako pumunta dyan kasi alam kong maraming mga bagay dyan na maaaring gamitin to tempt me. So that I I will commit sin. Diba? May mga ganun eh. Uh, we should... Uh, continuously resist the devil. Diba sabi nga din sa Bible, sa James 4, Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So, the same goes sa ating mga Kristiyano na if we are experiencing something or, alam mo yun, if ever na nandun na tayo sa sitwasyon na kung saan natatempt na tayo, we are being tested, we are being tempted by Satan. Dapat tayo na yung yung kusang lumayo na rin dun sa sitwasyon na yun. So the Bible says in Proverbs 22, A prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So do not engage with anything that pulls your heart toward external matters or with people who separate your heart from God. Whatever it is that can distract your heart from being close to God, put it aside or stray away from it. This is great. This is of greater benefit to your life. So in kung ano yung mga bagay na nakakapagpalayo sa atin sa Panginoon. In whatever form, kung ito yung isang bagay na nakakapaglayo sa atin sa Panginoon, dapat tayo na yung, mag, yung parang as a person, as a Christian, we should be conscious enough to walk away, stay away from those temptations. Today, uh, as we've been profoundly corrupted by Satan, syempre, especially sa panahon ngayon talaga na parang ang dami ng temptations and yung corruption sa mundo napakalala na talaga. As a, as a Christian, as a person, kung magre-relay lang tayo sa ating sarili, we don't have the strength to overcome sin. Kasi all people love the pleasures of this world. Eh. Diba? Wala namang exemption dyan. And we can't withstand the temptation and yung seduction na ginagawa ni Satan para ma-fall tayo sa kasalanan. So if we know well that there is temptation, and yet, we don't distance ourselves from it and instead follow it, then we will be ignorant people who walk into traps and will only fall into Satan's temptations. So in ending, uh, I would like to share a verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. It says that, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted... He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Everything na maaring harapin natin in the future, yung mga temptations na yan, it is not something na unique or new na parang ikaw lang yung nakaranas yan sa buong mundo. It is not. And alam din natin in the Bible na Jesus was also tempted in the same in the, in the in the very same way that we are being tempted ngayon lahat ng temptations na nararanasan ng tao ngayon na pagdaanan din ni Jesus Christ yun, and he has overcome it and he is victorious and yun nga sabi nga dito sa 1 Corinthians na God is still faithful na even if we fall into those temptations he will still provide a way for us to stand and overcome it